YouTube. Once again, it is on in the us. Um, today I'm going to show you how to install um, apps on the Homebrew channel and how to play DVDs on the Wii. Um, so let's get started. Okay, the first thing you want to do is create a folder in your SD card called apps. So new folder and lowercase a p p s apps okay now you're going to go to a site okay i will post this link in the description it's really long so um this site has a list of um all all the homebrew applications you can have on the channel as well as um descriptions of what they are so you're going no sorry well okay so here's the list I will post the link in the description so you're going to pick the app you want I'm going to pick M Player CE because I'll need that for DVDs later and you're going to click on download and you're going to download one of the versions that they have so I'm going to download um, save it to the disk by the way you'll need WinRAR to, ex you'll need WinRAR to extract these apps alright it's going to take some time to download Good. So you're going to go to your desktop and extract the files. You need WinRAR to extract those. Okay. It's extracting. You're going to open the file. You're going to click on the folder called Apps. And you're going to copy the folder inside, which has the name of the application. That's what you need. So you're going to copy that. Then you're going to open your SD card. Click on the apps folder there and paste it inside the apps folder. Okay. And now your app will, will load in the Wii. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to install DVDs, how to play DVDs on the Wii. So um, let's head over to the Wii. You're going to put the SD card in the Wii once again. Hold on. Turn on the Wii. Go to the correct channel, of course. Okay. You're going to load Banner Bomb. Once again, this you don't need to do this for apps, you you need to do this for DVDs. So you're gonna load Banner Bomb. See my video see my video about Banner Bomb for that. See my video about the homebrew channel for that. <sighs> okay. Gonna take a really long time now. Oh. You're going to check that DVDX can be installed. Once again, don't worry about boot me, just worry about DVDX. 
and you're going to install DVDX. I already had it installed, so I'm going to forget about that. And you're going to click on exit. Okay, hold on. I'll be right. I'll I'll be right back. Okay, so you're going to take your DVD I, I have here, sorry, I have Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone here. You're going to take your DVD and you're going to put it inside the Wii, of course. Okay. And now you're going to start M player C E like so. You're gonna load that. You're gonna go to open to DVD video and you're gonna click on play DVD. And it'll take some time, but you should play your DVD. And as you can see, the DVD has been started. All right, to con for controls for the DVD, A is pause and play, and these arrows are to forward and rewind. As also, you can subtract the Wii's volume input with the plus and minus buttons. Well, thanks for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoy your homebrew applications. Well, I'm out.